Hey guys, Ricard here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course guys, today we'll cut the moisture detection warning on the Samsung Galaxy S10, S10e and S10 Plus. As you can see here, this is the S10 Plus and this device does not have the issue. But I'm going to show you what you can do in case you do have the issue. So this is a reproduction running through the process of showing you all you can do. And I guarantee you, one of these steps should work in helping you to get the problem solved. Now the first thing you can do when you're getting the moisture warning despite not having any moisture on your device or anywhere um, in terms of your device was not um, placed into water or maybe it was placed into water but of course there's still no moisture on the device at um, its current state all right so the first thing you want to do guys if you're getting this particular error is just to go ahead and what you're going to end up doing here is you're going to try this method here so you're just going to hold down power you're going to hold on power. Once you hold on power, just go ahead and power off the device. And once you do that, just make sure you have your charger. Make sure it's plugged in. And what you're going to do right here is just have the charger at the ready. Do not place it all the way in. Just barely set it at the tip right here. And what you're going to do right now, guys, is just go ahead and power on the device. As soon as you see the first Samsung logo, just go ahead and push the USB charger all the way in. So just make sure it's set. You're going to hit power and right here just go ahead and push it all the way in what that will do guys is it should bypass the error and in bypassing the error the device will end up charging and of course the error will disappear um, do not be fooled this is just a bypass to get you charging please if you remove the charger later on it will come back or in most cases the error will come back but of course this method is used and I've used this several times to bypass the error all right and once you do that it should start charging again the error will disappear and it will allow you to charge your device unfortunately you'll have to repeat the process each time you need to charge your device which is better than um nothing all right once the device is back up you should realize it's fully working all right and that's the first thing you want to try um the second thing you can end up trying guys in order to have the problem fix is just go ahead this time and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your wireless charger once you have your wireless charger guys just go ahead and place your um, Samsung Galaxy device onto the wireless charger and of course mine is working right now and of course by doing this guys what it does is it um, bypasses the error all it will not charge under normal circumstances by placing it on a wireless charger it has been proven in the past that doing this should help in fixing the problem in that it will bypass the error and your device will charge again not everybody will have a wireless charger unfortunately but of course, if you can get one, Andy, it's a good idea seeing that future devices will support a charger and it will not be a waste of time. I'll also put a link in the description to a charger that you can purchase, a wireless one. I recommend um, one such as this one here, which is a Chotec wireless charger. All right, so that's the second thing you can do. The third thing you can do, guys, is you can go ahead and clean the port. Sometimes the error itself is caused because there's moisture still in the port or maybe the port is just dirty. I recommend you use a piece of microfiber cloth. You can also get cotton. And, of course, you can get isopropanol alcohol. You can get one with a purity. The higher, the better. But something like 90, 95% or so on, um, purity should work. What you're going to do is power off the device. Once you power off the phone, just go ahead and in the port, just get a little bit of the alcohol and just clean the port make sure it's dry so clean until it's dry and you can basically um, blow the port and keep cleaning until the entire thing is clean especially the contacts on the inside once you do that guys power back the phone and of course in most cases again it should fix the issue for some people who are having this particular problem all right guys the next thing you can do which is the fourth step is you can find the usb settings so to do this you're going to go into um, settings search for apps and the apps option should be around here top once you tap the apps option just give it some time it might take a little bit to load you're gonna go in here and you're gonna show system apps so hit show system apps you're gonna search for the one that's called usb settings you can always use the search function here and type usb or you can scroll through the list as you can see there's the usb settings so i've tapped and once you tap on the usb settings as seen here go down to storage and once you're in storage go ahead and clear cache and of course next you're going to clear data by doing this what you're going to do is it's going to clear the data on the cache once finished you're going to go back and of course you can force stop the app so let's go ahead and force stop and of course hit um, the power button and once you hit the power button just go ahead and restart 
um, by restarting you will refresh the system and once you start back up again let's go ahead and see if the device is charging as normal if it works it should get rid of the um, error 100 percent but of course if not you will still have the issue and you can continue with um, the other suggestions all right guys the next thing you can do is you can see um, basically if it's a app that's causing the problem sometimes a particular app can be the cause of the um, issue in my case i have the apps um, the apps tree to show the last recently installed apps so these are my last recent apps and you want to check the last four to five apps that you have installed one of these might be messing with the usb setting as that app is poorly coded so Let's say, for example, I think it might be this one or this one. What you can do, guys, is just um, you can write down which apps you have here and keep um, uninstalling them um, one at a time and reboot after each uninstall and basically plug the phone back in to see if it's working. If you uninstall one particular app and the error disappears, simply uh, mark that app as the problem app and, of course, find an alternative or um, just basically leave um, that app um, without installing it back and of course if the issue does not come back that app is the cause of the issue another cool way to test if it could be a particular app is to boot your device into android safe mode android safe mode is a special mode that's designed for troubleshooting and of course if you boot into android safe mode you can click right up here i'll have a tutorial to that a link to a tutorial that show you to do it on the samsung galaxy s10 devices and of course um, once you are in that mode just uh, go ahead and Go ahead and see if the error disappears and see if your device is charging. If the device is charging, that will tell you that the issue is definitely a third party app, seeing that um, Android Safe Mode only um, uses the main apps on the device and disables all third party apps. So if in Safe Mode you are able to charge fully, it would mean that it's a third party app. A third party app is any app that was installed, for example, from the Google Play Store or somewhere online through an APK file. All right, so once you have done that, guys, the next thing you can do is you can consider that the problem might be true and you might be have a moisture issue. And if you have a moisture issue, it could mean that there is moisture somewhere in the, um, the device and it's detecting it. It could be that you have sweaty palms or you wet up the phone earlier. I suggest for um, those cases that you place the um, phone in a bag of rice. Rice will naturally absorb moisture. And of course, if the device has moisture, it will pull the moisture from the device into the rice so basically get a few cups of rice place this into a bag with the rice and leave it overnight once you do that guys it should fix the issue in that it will uh, remove all of the moisture especially if it's small amount that's been detected and of course um, guys another thing you can also do is to um, go ahead and back up your device and if you back up your device you can then go ahead and reset I do not advise that you reset it must only be a last resort so for example once you do your backup this go into settings once you're in settings go down to general management then you go to a reset and of course there's an option right here that says factory data reset let's go ahead and tap follow the instructions and your device will be totally wiped and that should only be as a last resort and guys as a final tip although these devices are waterproof you do not want to place them in water unnecessarily um, it should only be there as a stopgap in terms of if your device were to fall in and so on. So if you do get your device wet, which I do not recommend, please make sure that it's fully dry. Um, that includes all of the button areas, um, remove the case, dry out the ports and check all of the main openings for moisture. As moisture is very dangerous and the one is actually designed to prevent you from damaging your device as you do not want to mix um, electricity through charging with your device as it can cause further damage all right guys as we were saying the error is annoying but it's there for your um, safety although in some cases it's definitely malfunctioning all right guys we got a gunner from block tech tips saying bye until next time bye